Grace wants to know when's the next Ask Tyler Anything right now. Let's do it. Trinity wants to know what would I do if I won the lottery? Girl, there's a lot of things I would do. You know what's really important to me? I think we gotta take care of Earth. <laughs> Controversial statement, I know. Um, so maybe do something like to save the planet. Kaylin says she's about to watch Snervous. Any advice for preparation or snack suggestions? So Snervous is now on Netflix and Hulu. It's on Hulu in the US, Netflix everywhere else in the world. I would say a sandwich with avocado and pickles. You may be wondering, ew, that does not go together. Watch the movie. Milla B would like to know, will you be planning any big trips around the world? If so, please come to New Zealand. P.S. I love you. Um, I just took a big trip around the world. If you didn't know, I'm on this season of The Amazing Race on CBS every Friday at 8 p.m. You can tune in. And it's funny you should ask because I'm so excited to finally tell you guys that I'm going to be part of Amplify Live. It's a tour all around Australia and New Zealand. And I finally get to like hang out with you guys and hug you and love you forever. And be sure to get your tickets because they are going really fast. Catherine wants to know how long before celebrities start hoverboarding down the red carpet. The last time I tried to do it, I fell on my butt outside on my sidewalk and like, bam, like bruised my tailbone. It was not pretty. So I don't think it would go well on a carpet. Speaking of red carpets, I just got to go to a couple of them. I went to the Grammys on behalf of CBS. If you want to see those interviews, the link will be below. And I got to go to the Vanity Fair Oscars party red carpet. If you want to see videos from that red carpet, the link to that will be below. I just have so much good stuff for you in the description below today. I need you to check it out. Enjoy everything that you find. Kate would like to know, what is your favorite emoji at the moment? I'm gonna say it's not one of the emojis that you'll find on your normal emoji keyboard. It is one that is on the hashtag be strong emoji keyboard. It's Vodafone's app. I'm working with Vodafone to tell you guys about it. Uh, it's one that's specifically made to send out love and all of the emojis on the keyboard are like hugs and hearts and high fives and things like that. I feel like with technology and the anonymity of the internet and social media, there's a lot of opportunities to be mean. So because this community is all about being an upstander and standing up against cyberbullying, this keyboard is specifically made just to send love, which I feel like the world needs more of. So if you want to get it, the link is going to be in the description or you can get it in the app store. It's Vodafone's emoji keyboard. It's the hashtag be strong emoji keyboard. I really like it. It's really cute. And my favorite one is this like rainbow heart with like a hug because I feel like it's me in a nutshell. Will would like to know any advice for youth finding it difficult to follow their dreams. Look at the people that inspire you and realize that they had to make a decision themselves at some point or another should they do what's expected of them or should they go on the path they desire and think about had they gone and just did what others expected of them what would that do to you what would that do to not have that person who you idolize in your life or who you look up to in your life realize that if you follow your path you're gonna be inspiring others and what will it be like for them to not have you to look up to in the future? Does that even make sense? Basically what I'm saying is realize that you are gonna be somebody that people will look up to. Do you wanna follow your path and be that for somebody? Or do you wanna just do what people expect of you and maybe miss out on your opportunity to inspire others? I say, go be that role model. Joshua says, how is your butt so beautiful? I don't know if my butt is beautiful. I mean, my butt is beautiful, but like, Joshua, thank you, this is my booty. I, you know, you want to know why my butt's so pretty? Hi. <laughs> I have been doing this thing where I've been dancing in the shower every day. I, and you know, I don't just dance, I like get low. Squat more, even in your dancing, even in your everyday life. If you gotta pick up a pencil, like, squat to get it, girl. Lexi says, how does this make you feel? I don't feel good about this. I don't know about face swap. Face swap stresses me out. You know what, I've got an idea for my next video, by the way, and uh, it has to do with face swap. Just wait. George says, if you were a Power Ranger, which color would you be? I would say, and I know this is probably gonna sound dumb, but uh, the Blue Ranger, because he had glasses and I had glasses, and it felt really freaking cool to see somebody else on TV as a superhero with glasses when I felt really dorky and maybe uncomfortable with my own glasses. It was cool to see myself represented in media. And that's why, I mean, to a very small scale, why representation matters, seeing yourself in, a, in an aspirational role or as an aspirational character is important. Whether it's race or gender or sexuality or anything, um, like physical ability, like that's important. 
Anyway, that is enough questions for today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and check out my latest video right there. It's all about my summer camp with Bethany Moda. If you want to hear my latest podcast, click right there. It's a good one. If you want to hear it, if you've never heard our podcast, go listen to it. If you want to be my person of the week, click right there. Send me a picture of you and one of my books or in my merch and you might be my person of the week next week. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and for making my dreams come true. Um, you guys are the best. I love you. That's all. Good luck with your lives. Okay. Bye, y'all. <laughs> I, um, hi. <laughs> Should I just start the video? Hello. So there I was deleting footage off my computer, and it was you, I guess. Is that how I'm going to start this? Hi, everyone. Um, what's up? It's Tyler. Okay, bye.